Hi, good day again. Thanks for joining me again. All right, so welcome back. So last time we left off, we were doing some basic HTML and we covered, you know, using some of these presentation tags and um, we discussed the P tag, how you can create paragraphs with it. Uh, we said that how a tag is just, you know, a name and then the way you create a tag is by having a start and end tag, all right? And this is what a start tag look like, end tag. We covered a special case of where you might have a tag that doesn't include anything in the middle and you might find reasons for doing something like this, right? Um, the slash can be right there too. And so that's a, um, another tab, tag, it's a, like a break tag. Um, you have a horizontal rule tag that don't take nesting, so nothing is inside of it. So you can certainly do it this way since there's never going to be anything in it. Of course, you can still do it this way too. Um, but since, um, you know, I told nothing is ever going to be inside of this tag, you know, just shorthand, just do it this way. And so if I refresh this, you'll see a horizontal rule. And so this BR tag, so that's HR tag for horizontal room rule and the BR tag, you can use it here when you want to force a break. So if I do that and I refresh, you're going to see that oh, that's going to move to the other line. But so that's forcing a break. But you also said that we can put things in paragraph, right? So we cover paragraph tag, the bold, italics, and Honda line. And then now I just show you horizontal rule and the break tag. Now, one of the things I mentioned is that with tags, they can nest. Oh, the last thing we cover attributes also. When I said, though, this is an attribute here, ID, and it has the value of paragraph two. This one is an attribute ID with a value paragraph. And tags, you know, different tags have support different set of ID um, attributes, but all tags support the ID attributes since we're talking about it, I might as well mention it. So it's a way to give a unique label to each tag. So since every tag can have an ID attribute, you really don't want any more than one tag to have the same ID. And that makes sense just now, um, or a little bit. I don't know if just now or later on or in another future, but we'll see. Um, so one of the things I mentioned is that though you can nest tags. So for example, I said that if you wanted to, my name to be instead of separate like this way, you know, one is bolded, one is italized, and one is underlined, I wanted all three to be applied to my name. What I can do instead is just wrap my name you know, nest these tags. So it doesn't matter the order I do them. So I can say, I want this to be italized, then I want it to be on the line, and then now I want my name. And so now when I save this and I refresh, you see that oh, my name now is bold and italized. Let me remove this so it doesn't confuse you. And so you can see, um, save, let me save this and refresh. I can see my name is bold, underline, and italized, right? And that's because I nested it in this tag. And you can do the same thing. Like I can say, nice to see you, period. And then I'll just copy all of this, cut it from here, and I can paste it here in my paragraph. And just so, since I'm, I'll just, this just format in the browser doesn't care how many lines I put this in. Because as you said before, when you put um, the hello and nice to meet you in different line, the browser still put it all in one line. So that doesn't matter. So this is just formatting to help us who are reading, who are reading this code and writing it. But um, the browser is going to render it based on the rules of the tags, right? And so when I refresh, you can see um, this is totally fine. So you can always nest tag. You can make tag overlap, okay? So for example, I can do like bold tag and then start a um, italized tag here, but instead of closing it inside the bowl, I try to close it outside the bowl like this, right? Um, so sorry. That, that, that is illegal. This is what you say is not a well-formed tag, okay? Because they're not supposed to overlap, they're supposed to nest. And so this is okay. Uh, if you have a problem keeping them straight, just put them in separate lines so you can see which tags nest within which tag, okay? And hence why I did the P tag this way, so that you can easily see what is nested inside or what, okay? And so I have some text nested inside of um, ital on the line tag, which is nested inside of ital, which is nested inside bold, which is nested inside of P. So that's all just formatting for the reader and the person writing the code, 
Um, all right. So no, we're, so so we have a few facts about tags. Tags, you know, just have a name or you call it a tag name, and then you can have end tag. You must have a start tag. Um, my thing is folded. My editor is folded, so you know you can collapse different parts of the documents for easy reading. But anyway, um, and so um, you can but you can nest them. You can have attributes. Well. Sometime, um, and we're going to get into this, you, when your document is loaded as a tree, and we'll, we'll see why that is. But let me just mention this. Remember I mentioned just now you have to have well-formed tags, you know, they can't overlap. Well, there's also a rule for how your HTML document, this is called an HTML document, this page, this is called an HTML document. Once it's loaded in a browser, we say we have an HTML document, or... Even while we're writing it, because we have an HTML document. Uh, we don't tend to say HTML source code, but you could. But most times people say hey, we have an HTML document. And so um, there's some, some rules as to how this document should be formatted. And so part of it is that it needs an HTML tag, a root tag. And so the reason why I call it a root tag is because inside of this document, all other tags get nested inside of this HTML tag. And so we say that oh, the HTML tag is the root tag, okay? Then inside of there, you have, um, let me, a head tag, and some stuff get nested inside of head, and then you have a body tag, right? And then stuff get nested inside of body. And so I could copy all this stuff because my document was now well formed, even though my browser was still kind of rendering it on the other side, um, it wasn't well formed. And so now, uh, let me see if I could beautify this a little bit. Okay, so I run beautify and save and can update it a little bit. All right, I didn't quite do it the way I would want it, but oh well. And so as you can see, now that it knows the HTML document, as I touch different parts of it, it's, you know, it is rendering it as opposed to before I had to save it and all this other stuff, right? So now it understands that there's a well formed HTML document. That's because I have my HTML um, root tag, I have my head, and I have body. And notice when I click body, where it's getting highlighted everywhere inside of this part of the web browser. That's because everything that's inside body that is visible shows up here. Well, what happened? What goes in head? So head, <clears throat> you could put a title tag, and I could say, and notice what's changing when I put a title tag up here. So, that, so the title affects this area the, um, above the address bar. This is the address, and then your title uh, affects this area. And so now you can see that though we have a much better HTML document. This is a well-formed document, right? And then as I click, I could click around and start typing um, in these different areas, and it would automatically update. So what are the new things? New things is HTML document must have a root tag, which is one tag, and only one tag, which is called the HTML tag. Inside the HTML tag, you can nest, nest that head tag, and so two tags you can nest inside of the HTML tag. You can say that we have children, two children tag, uh, child tag, and the two child tags are head and body. Inside the head tag, you can also have a child called title. And body, you can put all your other tags and other doc, um, elements and whatever else and text. So you can, you know, put stuff here, like, right? And so there you go, right? Um, it's getting rendered um, multiple times. And... Um, I don't know if I said nice to see you. Um, so, bam, let's see. Where's my, this guy? So let me save this and refresh because it's, re okay. Yep, there we go. So now it's rendered properly, okay? Um, for I, it was all weird. Um, I think it was because I didn't update it. All right, so that's nice, okay? So. All right, uh, sweet. 
and we can put in another HR horizontal rule tag here, right? All right. So okay, we're gonna have fun now as we type it. It's gonna update, and we're gonna see our updates in real time, and what's next. Okay. So sweet. That this is awesome. All right. So we have a we have this extra tags here. We don't need those. And that's fine. All right. So now we understand a basic HTML document, and I encourage you to try and update your document to look like this. One of the things I'll do before moving on though is I'll create a Git project in here um, because we went ahead and installed Git. Why not initialize it? So I'm going to in init a Git inside of the HTML directory. And, um, and then I'm going to say, oh, this file is on track. I'm going to check it and say committed. And then I can type a commit message and I'll say initial check in and I say okay and then it says nothing to commit working directory is clean and that's all there is to it and I could close this by clicking there or you know I could toggle this here so that's how I use my git and it's telling me at all I am on the master branch and for those who are not following along with that don't worry you can ignore all the git part so next time we come we're going to come back and we're going to continue doing more html tags and yeah we'll just continue building up and playing around with tags and then eventually once you understand based the tags we'll move on to yet more and more things and then we'll see how this comes back to help us write in you know really cool web pages and so on all right so that's it thank you well let's call this video part two so basic part two